हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ मैक्सवेल्स रिलेशंस वन एप्लीकेशन इज स्टडीड इन दैट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर वीडियो दैट इज क्लाउसियस क्लाफेरियन इक्वेशंस देर आर वेरियस नंबर ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस वी हैव टू डिस्कस वन बाई वन throughout that of upcoming videos here one application that is clausius clapeyron equations so what is uh, maxwell's equations or maxwell's relations in thermodynamics maxwell proposed four thermodynamic relations that can be applied to all type of solids liquids and gases under all conditions of pressure volume and temperature generally one out of the four relations along with two relations as we say dq is equal to tds which is the second law of thermodynamics and again dq is equal to du plus dw which is the first law of thermodynamics and maxwell's four relations we have to write one by one the first one we use the short trick to write the maxwells four thermodynamic relations as tendulkar very special person that is del t del v del p del s these are equal second one t started here tendulkar very special person del p del t del s del v here it's a opposite at constant s v here v t is equal next third one t started here that is tendulkar very special person del s by del p del v by del t here temperature constant here pressure constant next four one that is tendulkar very special person del v del s del t del p pressure entropy now the negative sign where t and v are there negative sign here t and v are there also negative sign here these are the four maxwell's thermodynamic relations for maxwell's thermodynamic relations now using these thermodynamic relations we derive so many formulas or various type of thermodynamic phenomena described by using the maxwell's thermodynamic relations these are known as the applications of maxwell's thermodynamic relations first one we derive clausius clapeyron equation
Clausius Clafarian equation. This Clausius Clafarian equation. Let us attend it. So, how we derive from Maxwell's second thermodynamic relation? Maxwell's second thermodynamic relation del P by del T at constant volume is equal to del S by del V at constant temperature. We know here del Q is equal to 2 T del S that is the second law of thermodynamics. So, d s del q by t in place of d s i substitute del q by t this right here it is del p by del t at constant volume is equal to 1 by t del q by del V at constant temperature here. Now, let I prefer for a unit mass of the substance. Now, for a unit mass of the substance, That means the amount of uh, heat absorbed or released DQ. Let me prefer DQ amount of heat absorbed or released. So, that is known as the latent heat of that particular substance is the latent heat of substance and the latent heat is L. So, we write here the latent heat of that of substance that is same as that of dq. So, del Q or we write that is dQ is equal to L that amount of heat is same as the latent heat of that of substance. So, that Maxwell's equation written like this. So, equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes del P by del T, del P by del T at constant volume is equal to in place of T Q by substitute L that is L divided by T del V. In place of del V I substitute that is change in volume. Let I take V I be the initial volume per unit mass per unit mass and V f be the final volume per unit mass. Then the change in volume this del P by del T at constant volume is equal to L divided by T that is V f minus V i V final that of V initial that equation is nothing that is the Clausius Clafarian equation for latent heat that is the 
that equation is known as the Clausius Clafferian equation of latent heat. So, with the help of this visual lecture, we understand one of the applications of Maxwell's thermodynamic relation that is Clausius Clafferian equation. We use the Maxwell's second thermodynamic relation and use the second law of thermodynamics and the concept of latent heat. Then finally, derive the equation which is the Clausius Clafferian equation from that of Maxwell's thermodynamic relations. So, with this useful and infinite notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.